we want to add a button to automate adding a new row, but when we add that new row, we want to pick the category before we do it. Of course, we could go to this second row, insert row above, select the category, but that's a lot of buttons to click. Let's do it in one click. We're going to need an app script. Go to extensions app script. We'll call this add fruit because we're going to have multiple categories. We have fruit, meat, vegetable. Let's do a couple. Let's do at least fruit. We're going to first go spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot insert row before. You might think we're going to insert a row after one, but actually want to do insert row before two because if we do insert row after one, we'll inherit all of the design and format of the header row. But if we do insert row before two, we will get all of the formatting of the second row in our new row. And the next thing we need to do is spreadsheet.getActiveSheet.get range and in which column, column D, so that's going to be row two, column four, and only one cell, we're going to set value and that's going to be fruit. Just in text. What's going to happen is when we insert a row above, that drop-down menu will be inherited. So we just need to set the value to the drop-down value we want, which is just text. So we can test this out. We can say add fruit, click run, see if there's any errors here. And we don't have any errors and we have a new row with fruit on it. But let's create that button with insert drawing. And we're going to choose a nice shape like a beveled shape here. We're going to say add. Actually, we're going to say fruit. That's all we want to say, fruit. Maybe we change this to green to better match the green of fruit. Click and drag it over here. And now we need to make sure this function add fruit is assigned to this button. So in the top right corner, there's three buttons. We're going to click that assign script and paste just the name of the script here. Click OK. We can do this again. We can insert drawing again, go and create a new beveled one and call it vegetable. Make it a little bit smaller just to fit that vegetable. Do it dark green, maybe with white text here. Save and close. And we're going to need to create a new function, add vegetable, add vegetable. And instead of set value fruit, copy this function, save this. Make sure you save it. Go back to our sheet. Click on our three dots in the upper right corner, assign script, add vegetable. Click OK. And now we have a fruit and a vegetable next to each other there. Click vegetable. And we have a new vegetable row. We can do that with meat and dairy as well and create multiple buttons here. Very cool. I hope you enjoyed that. If you're looking to get more out of your Google Sheets, do more in your Google Sheets, get more automations in your Google Sheets, subscribe today to Better Sheets on YouTube right here.